Hi, I'm Bill Mastretti, and I'm here today to speak to you about Commando Kilt. Now, Commando Kilt manufactures and sells utility and fashion kilts. From athletes to artists, carpenters to trendsetters, we like to say that you don't have to be Scotch or Irish to go Commando. <laughs> <laughs> In addition to utility and fashion kilts, later this year we will be introducing lines of formal, traditional tartan, and even children's kilts. Um, this is a unique product, individually tailored for your unique personality. The problem is, is there are not a lot of non-traditional kilt companies out there right now. Uh, and the ones that do, very few service women, and they're all at a premium price. Our competitors, and we're not talking about your mom and dad's kilt company, we're not talking about the ones that have traditionally been there, we're talking about the non-traditional kilt companies, and there are three that we really focus in on as our competitors. One's based out of the UK, they do high-end fashion kilts for men, at an extreme premium price. There are two located here in the US, both of which posted about $2 million in sales last year. Uh, only one of those even makes women's kilts, and they're again at a premium. Our solution to this is very simple. We have customizable, quality kilts that are affordable for men and women. Um, some milestones to date. We've only been around for a few months, but we've gained great traction so far. Um, we have increased exponentially our number of internet sales as well as our local sales. We've become the uniform provider for a chain of restaurants here in Savannah, and they became our first outside reseller. Um, additionally, we've been um, interviewed for Lifetime Television's The Balancing Act for a second that will be airing a couple times next month. Um, on the financial front, we're looking at on track this year to make about $86,000 in sales. Of that, about $60,000 will be profits. And next year looks even better already. Um, we're looking for about $25,000 of investment. This would go towards upgrading some of our equipment as well as marketing. And we also need materials so that when we're going to these resellers, we have stock materials and stock product for them to sell. Again, I'm Bill Mastretti, and this is Commando Kilt. And if you're gonna wear a kilt, go Commando. <laughs>
So of, of the of the group that you sold, where where is the focus? Where is the, the focus seems to be the 30s age group predominantly, and we've now in the last week finally did the shift for where we're sent, selling more women's kilts than men's kilts. So it's an interesting demographic. It's all over the place. It's hard to target it like a laser beam. Have you looked at like the Bonnaroo's and the Burning Man, which has a level of creative class that maybe more interested? Uh, uh, that... We have, we have, and you know, we've thought about those things, but we've also thought about things such as fashion week here in Savannah, because some of ours are high-end fashion fields. Um, right. So we're, we're looking at a number of different options for our progressive clothing line, that's it. Do you train men in how to sit? We ought to put an article on our Facebook page about that. <laughs>